for. Board members, nominations are now in order for the Office of Board Vice President. Are there any nominations? Um, I want to preface before I give my nomination of that I put a lot of thought into this. And this was something that for weeks and weeks I've been grappling with, thinking about who I would um, be confident in nominating. Because I, I believe that we all would be very capable of being vice president, especially under the leadership of choice. Um, but I think it's all about timing right now for me. And so considering the timing, I would like to nominate um, Mr. Wayne Walker for vice president. Um, because I did put so much thought into this and really did you know, go through of the reasons why, I'd like to read my statement. Um, so in order for us to continue evaluating and improving the way the district operates, including spending habits, contract at work, strategic development, and facilities management, which are fundamental to long-term sustainability and success for decades to come, we need to look at its uh, current state and organization from all angles. And Mr. Walker's experience, in my opinion, brings a level of evaluation, perspective, and analysis that goes unmatched at this moment in time. Mr. Walker has more than 30 years experience leading teams through business restructuring and debt management. We know financial health will make or break our district, and I feel confident that his experience will continue to steer the direction, to steer the district in the right direction under the leadership of Dr. Height. For more than 30 years, Mr. Walker has advised companies such as DuPont and other internationally recognized companies and boards on areas of governance and strategic options. I trust Mr. Walker to help lead the conversation to break down the silos of organization and tangled communication that make it challenging to hold individuals accountable to assure that policy becomes practice. He also has extensive experience advising both companies and nonprofit boards around personnel and compensation matters, which we know are also key from the, for the district in terms of labor contracts. Mr. Walker also has extensive and impressive board leadership experience as the chairman of the Board of Trustees of National Philanthropic Trust, a public charity which holds six billion in assets under management. Additionally, he has served as the chairman for the Board of Directors at Habitat for Humanity International, where he led a 27-member board to turn the organization's losses into an operational reserve. His insight to managing such large and layered organizations is exactly what the district needs at this time. While we are all here to champion public education and can and will do that, we cannot all approach the complicated and tangled web of governance structures, legal obligations, financial restraints, and labor contracts with the analytical and calculated experience that Mr. Walker can. So please consider Mr. Walker for Vice President. Thank you. Are there other nominations?